So I've been asked many times on my live stream, what is a really good build to run on Huntress? Where I could run these perks and learn her very, very quickly and fast while learning how to cross map and get better at her at the same time. The perks I recommend are Barbecue and Chili, Nurse's Calling, Animal Ears, and Corrupted Intervention. So let's cover every single perk one by one. Cr Barbecue and Chili is really good because you're going to be running this on practically every single Huntress build you're going to be using from now on until the future. Every single time you hook a survivor, you see the auras of the su other survivors around the map that are 40 meters away from you. This perk is so good because it takes advantage of cross map shots. You can get a maximum of around how many? 11 useful procs out of barbecue and chili. 11 times that you'll be able to have a potential to see all the survivors in the map. That is huge and the amount of information you get from barbecue and chili is enormous because right when you hook for one survivor you want to go to another survivor and what we do is we create a snowball. You down one survivor, then you down the next survivor. You down another survivor, down another survivor, until they're all dead. A snowball is when you keep constantly going from one person to another until the team is entirely just dead. Barbecue and Chili is extremely good at capitalizing on that. Another perk that's really good is Bitter Murmur, but that's something that's a little bit more advanced and I don't recommend that you use in the start. Um, basically, Bitter Murmur is just like Barbecue and Chili, and it only procs when generators are completed, and... Yeah, it's, it's more advanced. I wouldn't recommend starting with Bitter Rumor. Um, I'd recommend starting with Barbecue and Chili, though. So, Nurse's Calling. Whenever a survivor is healing within a 28 meter range, you see their auras. This perk is very good, because if you're in mid-low rank, you're going to be getting survivors that you need to learn how to hit shots, especially when survivors are standing still. Whether you get a hit on a survivor M1-ing, or whether you get a hit on a survivor using a hatchet, they're always going to be healing to try to get to full health. What Nurse's Calling does is it helps train you to hit survivors who are standing still. Alternatively, you could run a perk like Discordance, but I'd much rather recommend a perk like Nurse's Calling because it's an aura. Auras help you hit cross map shots. And with auras with Nurse's Calling, even if you miss your hatchet on a survivor, you can, will see them running a certain direction as the aura dissipates, which allows you to pre-plan on hitting them as they're running away from you. It's very good for teaching you how to hit stationary targets and targets that are running away from you. Very, very good at learning Huntress. You can run Discordance if you really want to, but I think Nurse's Calling is better for this. A perk like I'm All Ears. Any survivor that performs a rushed action within 48 meters of your location will have their aura revealed for six seconds. So th what this does is whenever you'll, this teaches you how to play Huntress at jungle gyms. Fundamentally, you want to learn how to loop and control the match with survivors as they loop the strongest buildings in the game, whether it's Crotus Pendicillum or Rancid Abattoir or any jungle gyms. You really have to understand how Huntress performs in all all of their hardest situations and the hardest situations are areas where Huntress has a window to loop. A perk like Corrupted Invention is really really good because it helps buy you time so when you're new to Huntress you may not be able to down survivors really really quickly. What Corrupted Invention does is it blocks the three furthest generators for a total of two minutes. By blocking those generators for a total of two minutes you'll be able to have firm control of the match and be able to learn Huntress at a decent pace. You won't always have to worry about, oh my god, the gens are popping way too fast because Corrupted Dimension will buy you the time that you need to learn. If you really would like to use add-ons when you're first learning Huntress as a beginner, I'd really recommend staying away from wind-up add-ons like Flower Babushka and Mana Grassberried and staying more close to add-ons that increase the amount of hatchets that you can hold. By having more hatchets that you can hold, or maybe like a restock speed add-on, it allows you to throw more hatchets per game, which allows you to learn more quickly and faster. For a beginner, throwing more hatchets is actually really good. So maybe an, using a leather loop or infantry belt could be really helpful for you for learning way faster. Only stick to those. Only Not ones that mess with her base kit, because if you mess with the base kit, it's going to mess you up in the future when you decide to try using no add-ons or using different add-ons. Stick to no wind-up 
changing add-ons for the time being until you feel like you're very comfortable with Huntress. So this is the build I actually recommend on Huntress. Here's actually a game where I go through how I would think when I'm playing Huntress with a beginner's build just like this, and hopefully that will be able to help you guys out. Okay, so this is perfect. We got what people consider to be one of the worst maps for Huntress. So this is really good because this is actually a map that a lot of people who are new at Huntress struggle on. When you're first starting out, these generators are corrupted to Fenton. They are blocked. They cannot work on them, which means survivors usually spawn really close to them. So I'm going to head towards this direction. I find a Fengmin. I see a couple scratches. That's good. It's a good way to open up the match. Corrupted Dimension is a good way to stop survivors from starting generators really quickly. It allows you to give you some time to learn how to play Huntress yourself. So a map like Haddonfield. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're not usually this boosted. But you can see with I'm all ears, we still see her aura, right? We see her going in this building. I'm like, okay. Now I can make like an educated guess. Maybe she's going through this window. You know? And you're like, okay. I didn't hit that, but that was a decent guess about what they were doing. These auras are constantly telling me what the survivors are doing. No matter how boosted the survivors are. And these guys are being, playing a little, little special. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting auras. And that tells us, okay, see? With Nurse's Calling, we saw she went to the right a little bit. With all these little subtle things, you'll start picking up on like movement cues that the survivors do. And this is very important to pick up on when you're learning Huntress. This is why I really recommend that you start playing Huntress with Nurse's Calling. I may say on my stream that Nurse's Calling is not a great perk to start using when playing Huntress, but... At least in the red ranks. But... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> But Nurse's Calling is extremely good for teaching you survivor psychology. It, it helps, you'll, you'll slowly learn, oh, this is how survivors like to move. They like to duck behind high objects. All this good stuff. Auras help you learn patterns. And what you need to do when you're new to Huntress is to learn these patterns that survivors do when you're playing Huntress. Whether it's ducking behind big objects, or whether that survivor is like going right when they heal. Every single survivor has a profile to them. And it's up to you to use these auras to your advantage. The reason why I recommended Discordance over Nurse's Calling is because Discordance is a bubble. Nurse's Calling is an aura. Auras teach you about how survivors move. So, now you... Oh, crap. <laughs> that was too high. Let's try that again. Yeah. You see, with Nurse's Calling, I I would go for shots that are kind of crazy, like that one I just did, right? If you weren't using a perk like Nurse's Calling, you wouldn't know that they're there. And maybe when you take Nurse's Calling off, let's say there's someone injured, oh, maybe you'll just throw a lob in there. Because you think they're going to go there. That thing man just disconnected. I have no idea what's going on with this group, but I hope you guys are getting some sort of like some sort of importance with these matches. What's what's not important is the kills when you're new. What's important is to get hits. So when you learn new shots with like nurses calling or I'm all ears. What? You want to start stacking all these little shots that you learn all together. And eventually, you'll just be hitting only trick shots in an entire match. You'll be like, oh, I, could, I hit them through this window here. I hit them over the fence over there. And you just stack the tricks all together. Uh. 
Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Matchmaking, you're being a little weird today. All right, so we got more of a balanced map for this, this match. Last match was a bit of a disaster. So, our Corrupted Revenge is a little bit spread. I generally like to check the Corrupted Gens to see where, if survivors have spawned close to them. Usually survivors will be walking away from these generators because they won't, they won't know what to do. They'll be like, ah, I need to make myself useful. Usually, we'll find little gamers hanging around them. Nice. I am one her there because usually it's not worth trying to mind game the survivor at such a tight loop. Um, it's, it's generally hard to hit a survivor with a hatchet at very tight rock loops like this. This usually gives people a lot of um, trouble, and I get actually a lot of questions about that, that loop in general. I also saw another player around this area as well. So what I'm looking for is a barbecue and chili proc. Since we had no procs, that probably means somebody is within the vicinity. It's because we saw no one means out of three people it's very unlikely that no one is far far away you know it's got to be at least one person close by so barbecue and chili told me something and not doing anything right here very good i'm all ears gave me the nice information that dwight was just kind of going around this loop instead of going to the next one right here so that helps me get his down really quick and easily and what what I'm all ears and what nurse is calling to do is it's supposed to help you help feed you information for where the next survivor you're going for is going to be it's constantly telling you okay this is a survivor over here yeah this is a survivor over here and what you your goal is to go from one person to the next. Now I see they're going to the left. That's how I got Dwight down again. You see what Nurse is calling? It has this other utility. Even if they play around it. I may be able to down them quite quickly. But even though I'm able to down survivors really quickly, your main goal when you're learning Huntress is not to get um, kills. Your main goal when you're learning Huntress is to try to get as many downs, I mean, as try to get as many hits as fast as you can. <laughs> it's all about being able to hit your shots. Even if you miss your shots, that's okay. Next time, make sure that you will, you fix it. Make sure you're able to hit and correct what you made a mistake on. You don't need to learn about flicking just yet. Um, I'd recommend learning how to arc your hatchets like I am. Don't always rely on fully winding up hatchets just like that. Try to learn how to throw hatchets halfway or immediately. That way you get some speed. You get some speed with your hatchets and you can be very unpredictable. There's a certain pattern um, that survivors use. They usually dodge right when you can immediately throw a hatchet. And when, right when your hatchet is about to be fully charged up. Those are the two most common positions where survivors like to dodge at. And that will be very important to you guys when you start learning how to play uh, Huntress really, really well. So I saw that Thingman went to this jungle gym. I see that she's healing. I had information with the nurse's calling that she's going to keep moving straight. So I did a play where... I'm reacting to her moving forward. You see, Nurse's Calling is setting me up for a hit. And eventually, sometimes, you just take Nurse's Calling off, you'll take I'm All Ears off, and you'll just feel that the survivor's gonna do that. You don't need to see their aura anymore. You'll just know they're doing it. This is why using perks like I'm All Ears and Nurse's Calling is really important because it teaches you the intuitive part of Huntress. Since we're on this learning, kind of learning train, you know, I'm not going to go for Neo, I'm not going to M1 here. I'm going to use my hatchets. I'm going to try to prevent using M1 
to try to maximize the exposure I have to throwing hatchets. Because Huntress is not an M1 killer. You want to try to reduce the amount of times you M1 as much as possible. Don't crutch on M1ing. Um, it's a good idea to just not M1 at all and try seeing if you could down survivors effectively without ever having to use your M1. That way, the thing is, the more hatchets you throw, the better you'll get. So you want to take every single opportunity of you winding up your hatchet as an opportunity to improve. Every single time you M1, you're missing an opportunity to improve. Unless you're out of hatchets, of course, you can get one there. But, like I said before, it's not about getting kills, it's about getting hits more consistently. And perks like I'm All Ears and Nixus Calling are very good about teaching you how to hit shots and setting you up for these shots to the point of one day you'll be able to just take them off and use better perks. These are good training Huntress perks. At this point, you'll find yourself in a situation like this. You can't really find survivors. Do something very common. Just go from generator to generator and look to see which ones are being worked on. And that way you can find your next person. That's just something that's very common that killers do. Not necessarily a Huntress thing. You may not be able to hit shots like that always, but maybe one day when you're running barbecue and chili, you'll learn. You'll be like, ah, oh, this is where they like to go after they get on hunt. And all this information starts building up. And eventually you'll become like, you have all these tricks under your belt that are all stacked together. They get better and better and better and better. Getting good at Huntress is something you need to go on layer by layer. If you skip steps, like not using Nurse's Calling, or not using I'm All Ears to learn some tricks about survivor like psychology or like movement, then you'll miss out on uh, some downs in a future game. I'm not saying that you can't get these tricks without these perks, then. You very well can. It just might take a little bit longer. So now we're gonna hook Mr. Dwight, and then we have one guy left. One of the most common questions I get is why don't you run whispers? I don't really like whispers because I look at the crows around the map as whispers itself. Every single time I see a crow go up, I know a survivor is in that precise location. And to me, the crows are way better than whispers. Whispers I find to be distracting. These crows are like little markers of where, oh yeah, there's a survivor that's been here a little bit ago. Granted, we did see Nia on barbecue and chili, but in a world where we don't see her, Using the crows to track her is something that is very important to do. So now we're gonna hook our last person. Kick this pallet. Let's do a little bit of a review. Barbecue and Chili, I'm All Ears and Nurses Calling are all there to help set you up for shots. But they're not only there for setting up for shots, they're there to teach you how survivors like to move. And by learning survivor movement patterns, you'll then be able to learn how to hit survivors when they go from point A to point B. And you're not even chasing them at some points. Corrupt Intervention is there to help you give you some more time to start learning her and getting used to the hatchets. So I hope this game and I hope this video has actually helped you guys quite a lot. With Huntress, um, this is the build that I would really recommend running. Barbecue and Chili, Nurse's Calling, I'm All Ears, and Corruptor's Invention. It's very, very good for teaching you the basics and 
hopefully you guys have a lot of fun learning Huntress. And so, yo, thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace, guys.